And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another new Sharima deck. This one's going to be built around Sivir and LeBlanc. This is going to be having the new five power champions that have all the little cards with reputation, which is a really weird keyword, but it cares about you striking with units uh, for five plus damage. And we're going to have just like some other cards that reward us for playing units with five plus damage. Uh, power. So we got our, here's our new two uh, two new champions first. We have LeBlanc, three mana, five two quick attack, and that levels up once you do a bunch of damage. And then Sivir, a four mana, five three quick attack with spell shield that also levels up when you do a bunch of damage. Both five power, and those are going to be important for two old cards. We're going to have Trifarian Assessor in here, and then we're going to be able to draw one for each five plus power ally that we have, right? So. That's going to be that's going to reward us for having five plus power allies, and then also reckoning. Another new card that's going to reward or another old card that will reward us for the five plus power allies because then we'll just have six mana destroy our opponent's board while our board will still be awesome. Um, let's see, but yeah, so reputation that's this new keyword. It's it's really arbitrary. Activates if an ally has struck if allies have struck for five plus damage at least four times. <laughs> just just get random number generators there that's what it that's what it seems like but i guess that's what that's what the random number gener generator popped up so we had to do five plus damage four times um and we should be able to do that so we're gonna have um trifarian glory seeker is gonna be a two drop that will be able to do five damage hopefully we get trifarian hopeful that gets some uh that turns into a five two for two mana we're gonna have some one drops that'll be able to help it out um let's see we have reckless trifarian also going to be a five drop in there um so yeah if we if we do strike four different times then we can play this callous bone crusher for only two mana instead of spending four mana and that sounds a lot better we're gonna have this another reputation card in here is gonna be black rose spy that if we just play it on turn two it's just going to be a three two but once we've struck four times with our five plus cost allies then it, uh, whenever we summon this, transform me into an exact copy of the strongest ally that struck this round. Basically, that's going to hopefully uh, copy our champions, right? Like maybe we attack with one of our quick attack champions like LeBlanc or Silver, Sivir, and they stay alive. And then we play the, the Black Rose Spy afterwards and then copy the champions. We have a couple Siphoning Strikes. I was really impressed with that card with our last deck. Um, you know, maybe we can use this as a five mana removal spell that also grants all of our champions ever a plus two, plus two. That could be really cool. And that can even make a card like Black Rose Spy even better. I have two of those in one Whirling Death, but hey, maybe I'm supposed to just be playing three Siphoning Strikes. I don't know. We'll see. And of course, some Mites and some Cato the Arms to get some Overwhelm. So let's get to it. Let's see how we do. Let's try to attack and smash with these real big five power uh, allies. Okay, we got another LeBlanc deck. They're going uh, with Braum Vladimir with LeBlanc. Okay, so we're going to keep... Hmm. I guess I'm going to replace Might and Assessor, but Assessor seems like a really important card to have. I think we're just going to keep Assessor. I, I want to try to... Hopefully we find something that costs like three. Okay. Black Rose Spy, I'm thinking that you know, maybe that's... Even as just a two drop, you know, it's important to have two drops. Um. Yes, yeah, so they're going to be a Scar, scar Ground deck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this Abitur. If I attack, they can block and turn their thing into a 3-1. But then, you know, the 3-1 and the 2-1 just kind of trade. But, of course, the 3-1 can also trade with the Black Rose Buy. That's a killer. Ouch. And it gets rid of my spell shield. Ouch. 
I really hope they don't have Troll Chant. Oh, Transfusion. Okay. Transfusion's, yeah, Transfusion's not as bad because they couldn't block Sivir and survive with that. But still, now they have a 10 2 and an 8 2. That was a good turn for them. That was a heck of a turn. Man, that, that Ice Shard in here looking good. Looking good. Um, yeah, that Ice Shard's looking good. Well, let's just kind of play this, I suppose. Yeah, this is scary. Yeah, that Ice Shards. That's kind of a perfect card for them. Hmm. Well. Be grateful I even noticed. It is me. Your late. This isn't good. <laughs> yeah, Scargrounds lit. Scargrounds is looking great. Oh gosh. Scargrounds is looking great. You gotta do it. You know, you hate to do it, but you gotta do it. Otherwise, you're dead. Go down to two. You gotta do what you gotta do. The problem, like, Captain Farron's my best play, of course, but the problem with playing Captain Farron is if they play any unit at all, I lose. But I guess. I guess I gotta just deal with that whenever I do um this <laughs> this need to be whirling death should have kept whirling death they're saying game so I'm guessing that they can kill me this turn by just dealing one damage twice to this crimson disciple or maybe not Okay. Yep, I need need Whirling Death. I I found every single spell in my deck except for that. I saw all the rest of them. All right, very impressive from the opponent. That was that was a very impressive Scar Grounds. My opponent was really good against Reckoning, <laughs> and like Reckoning is like the big part of what we're trying to do, and and the Scar Grounds just made all their stuff so big. Okay, so we'll have the two drop, four drop, five drop again. Like that's that's what we had last time. Maybe we just mulligan these five drops. This should be a good reckoning matchup. Oh man, they're so lucky. They got buried sun disc on turn one. I'm worried about the one drop that, you know, that's the 2 1 that also makes another 1 1. I'm worried about that. If it's made of sand, I can write it. Explosive. What a shame for you! Hmm. Okay, so they did not pick a landmark. Scary Harry with the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. We got to bring... Uh, oh, no, second month now for Scary Harry. Thank you so much, Harry. All that 
Okay. So that's the verse champion spell. The ricochet. Oh, that card's broken. All right, so one of their champions is going to be plus two, plus two, either Azir or Talia. Might. We've met before, Azir. In another life. Tell that Sivir hi when I send you back there. Destiny calls. You can take me. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. One mana kill my six three. Maybe not the best block. You know, I'm, I'm incentivized to block because I, I wanted to deal damage, right? And and uh, get all the the different things about dealing damage. That's what I was. That's what I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna go might. Siphoning Strike. Maybe I might just do that. Just do Might and then Siphoning Strike and then get this plus two, plus two. See, that'd be 30. Then if attack, it would level up. Or, yeah, maybe it's just Kato. And not go Siphoning Strike. Just play Kato instead. So my, my reputation is two out of four, so if, if these both attack and strike, that would be four out of four. Man, they're all about that plus three, plus one. All right, so take out that thing. Cool. Get cool level up. So now, with two of those things in play, with this, is this going to be 10 levels or 20 levels? Is this 20 or 10? Oh, it's not an Ascended Champion anyway. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not an Ascended Champion. Well, I still want to kill this. This thing's slow. Okay, so apparently it's glitched. It will be 20, but it's supposed to be 10. That's what y'all are saying. Um, so this this card is kind of weird to deal one to a random enemy or the enemy nexus five times. Like, is it always the same? Like, this is just a, this is a card that we're going to have to play to kind of figure out what it does. Is it the same enemy? Like, am I going to kill like a two four or a five four if I or deal five damage here, or if it because if it's like one here, one here, one here, then you know like that's terrible and I don't want to play this card at all. Okay, no, it's like Riptide Rex. Okay, so then yeah, so that's terrible. I don't want to play this card at all. So of course I don't I don't want to play this uh, last turn because of that that landmark they had because they would have made the glory seeker vulnerable and they would have been able to challenge and kill my glory seeker um, and I did not want that to happen. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. We live in hallowed times. Okay. Well, I, I feel like we're supposed to attack with Sivir last, because as long as Sivir is attacking, um, 
then these all get like those keywords, the spell shield, quick attack. I'm down to six. Well, that's too bad. Ricochet doesn't kill them. Put it could put them to one. <laughs> um, I guess I cast it though, right? And just put them to one, because then maybe Assessor draws another one. Might as well. the The reason not to would be if we'd find, you know, if like we play Assessor and then draw, you know, like a five mana removal, you know, like some kind of removal spell that we want to play next turn. All right. All right, we'll do it. They're down to one. Okay, so Assessor draws two. I could go LeBlanc. Assessor, draw three. Distraction, my dear. Then call me a rich, distracted fool. Come on, there's so much to see. Why do they keep copying that thing? B tree rise. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for keeping that sub going. Second month now. B tree rise. I really appreciate that. Our seventh sub of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Beat Your Eyes. Alright, let's draw three. Those are some good draws. Saying GG's. Probably one of these has to do the enemy nexus, right? Okay, maybe not, maybe not. The Emperor commands the land obey. Doesn't look like much. <clears throat> we should be just fine. We should be just fine because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be casting might on the. We casting might on this thing, so now they all have overwhelm. And we'll just challenge that thing, and that's fine. I'll challenge this thing. They all have quick attack overwhelm. And we get the LeBlanc level up. There we go. Good job, Sivir. We'll play some Jarvan tomorrow. Yeah, we'll definitely do a Jarvan deck. I'm excited to play Jarvan. All these champions are so much fun. All right, we got another Sharima deck. Azir Renekton. I wonder if they're playing uh, the version we were just playing. Uh, this hand looks pretty good. Pretty good. It's not super aggressive immediately. More aggressive now. And they always have the turn one buried sun disk. <laughs> The two bo our two boards together are very symmetrical. All right, let's pet the fox. We haven't pet the fox yet. Oh no, the fox is going away. Oh, <laughs> it's got a coin. Oh, the coin broke. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Just <laughs> brush that aside. Don't don't worry about this. You broke the sun disc. Me. 
Now you buried the sun disk. What are you doing? Get that buried sun disk. What are you doing? Yeah, like this this rock hopper is pretty strong, right? Because like this roiling sands means my LeBlanc has vulnerable. And I really don't want my LeBlanc to have vulnerable. That's pretty strong. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough for me. Like these things attack for a lot. Yeah, rock hopper pretty awesome. Oh, it's got a strong start. Okay, so it's not my deck. Because I didn't play that card. I, so I think my best play is probably Siphoning Strike this turn. Yeah, I mean, I think that's my best play. And so I guess I just do this. Really? What's that about? Quicksand? Yeah. All right, well, we'll just go Whirling Death. So that's two strikes for Reputation. And then that's ten for LeBlanc. But I'm, I'm really glad that we got that out of their hand right before I Siphoning Striked. All right, please work, please work, please work, please work. Please work, please work, please work. Please work. Don't have the minus two, minus zero. Don't have it. Oh, that thing's jump speed anyway. No, not an hourglass. Yuck. <sighs> Gross. I'm so close to leveling LeBlanc. Salamander. Um. Let's attack. <laughs> Stop with this quicksand. Because it should be an exact copy, so that means it should be at. Uh, it should be vulnerable still, unfortunately. Yeah. And it oh then it has still has the quicksand minus one minus zero two. Would you look at this place? Gross. Definitely considering just casting reckoning. Hmm. That feels bad though. Wait. I can hourglass reckoning. Let's go. Hourglass Reckoning. Hype. Now that's some hype right there. And then my... This will come back as a 1-2 yet again, but at least... You know, oh, it's not going to get the thing that gets vulnerable, right? Because it's already had... It's already vulnerable. Um... My way or the highway. Do 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 my way or the highway. That's probably too greedy. I need a I need to get another reputation strike in here so my bone crusher costs less. Gross. That's not a reputation strike anymore. Wait, what happened? Wait a minute, what is this card? 
Oh, it's that seven mana card. Oh, that wasn't good. Huh. Oh yeah, that that card is not a yeah. That's not a realistic card. Yeah, you know, like that's not that good of a card. I mean, it was it was a nice it was nice right there, sure. But I'm <laughs> you when he said somebody in chat's like hockey said that card was too expensive to play, and I I still agree. I think that card's too expensive. But it it worked out right there. And this sun disc may kill me. I mean, I guess, yeah, that sun disc may kill me. Hmm. I thought better of you. We need to stop drawing our one drops in the very late game, right? Oh, predict. That's a good. That's a. This is a really good time for predict. So yeah, like we're top decking one drops. They top deck this predict. That's a really good time for predict. Something big. Okay, that's not a one drop. Leblanc. Okay, let's see what we got. Kato. I gotta play Kato first, right? Yeah, we gotta. Kato. There we go. Play Kato first. Even though we drew the two one drops, which were bad top decks, but then we drew Trifarian Assessor, and life was better. Ooh, Zed with his ear. Zed get, gets that extra body attack in. Azir likes that. Reckoning probably pretty cool. So I can play Reckoning, what, turn four? Don't even want to trade. Ready. Set. If it's made of sand, I can light. Out of my way. That Zed looks nice. Are you supposed to be here? That Zed looks nice. Do I just like let Zed level up next turn? I don't know. This is pretty risky. Only the worthy survive. I have many things. Eleven. Only the worthy survive. So risky. Uh, best case scenario is my opponent doesn't, you know, just like doesn't block or anything and uh, just play something else out for my reckoning to kill. Oh, that's a good card. Good card. Only 
the finest surge. Nothing wrong with like just a little cantrip of just drawing a card. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, looks like the opponent's got this. They can't, you know, like they, they're not gonna be able to make all these sand soldiers. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they're not gonna if they attack with that. So this this would be two sand soldiers and a Zed. Yeah, I, d I don't have a favorite champion for the new expansion yet. This is just our, our second deck with the uh, with the new champions. All right, they got this one. GGs. All right, two and two. Okay, Twist of Fate Fizz. Opponent with the... The old deck that we know is really, really strong. Let's mulligan those two top end cards. We're going to need some early stuff. Okay, good. I like the one drop. Bone Crusher has been pretty awkward, just like I thought. That's why we're only playing two Bone Crusher. Reputation, not that easy to turn on. And so, like, this is... This is kind of like the seven mana Yeti. The 5-5 five five that gets... That reduces the cost by one every turn you have in your hand. It's kind of like that. I needed you last turn, Glory Seeker. I needed you last turn. So LeBlanc and Glory Seeker both died at Mystic Shot. I can play the this thing that doesn't die to Mystic Shot. I think I'm gonna do that. You'd rather have Ruin Runner over Bone Crusher? What's Ruin Runner? Five mana, six four. Oh yeah, that that with overwhelm doesn't have like overwhelming spell shield like that one. That was impressive for them. That was impressive. And that's the problem with with uh, reckless trifarian not being able to block. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty good for them. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for them. I love that trade. I love this trade. <laughs> Ballistic Bot's such a better card. But I guess they they probably just have enough elusives to kill me now anyway. I guess I need to block with the 2-1, I guess. That's a good draw. I don't know how many spells they've played this game. Okay, the answer is... A lot. Okay. If they played a second Burbal Fish, I was going to Reckoning with just the one. You know, it's, it's kind of difficult that, you know, with this being slow speed of, like... Having to try to to time that right, <clears throat> but Yeah, it's very likely we're dead with with just burn spells. Really good, good quality hand for the opponent. Good quality hand for them. This did not work out for me. Looks 
this serpent out. Only the finest serve. Yep. Yep. All right, GGs. Okay, so I. Yeah, so things really went wrong for me that game. The you know drawing that two one on turn three that really hurt that you know I didn't have that to play on turn two to be able to challenge. But then the playing the Trifarian definitely hurt with that strike. But then they did block the Trifarian. Um, they did have all the Mystic Shots in hand, right? So, like, if I would have played LeBlanc on turn three, they were going to be Mystic Shotting it. But maybe that would have slowed them down a little bit if they are using Mystic Shot on LeBlanc. I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that was just a really great hand for them. And, uh, oh, well. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I wanted, I would want to play this deck some more. I think that, uh, I think there was a lot of good stuff going on with the deck. I think about like those last two losses, our opponents had amazing hands and, uh, you know, like that's just going to happen sometimes in, in games, you know? So like those last two, um, really like if you put, like, if you just watch what our opponents did for all like six turns of both of those games, those decks are going to be killing most everybody, right? Like, like they're winning nine out of 10 games with those hands against anything so i don't think like i don't have any shame in losing either one of those games of those last two like those those were uh really difficult hands to stomp and uh yeah so that's so that's the thing so you know i'd want to keep playing this deck some more i think i think there was a lot of good stuff in here um but you know there's gonna be some weaknesses too we don't really block very well um and so we don't we can't really take care of elusives so i don't really have removal my cards are kind of expensive you know, all that kind of stuff. So maybe, you know, maybe when playing this deck, you know, playing it some more and testing out more stuff, maybe we do need to uh, add in a little bit more cheaper removal, cheaper interactions, cheaper cheaper spells just in general. Um, you know, maybe not have like Bone Crusher. Maybe you don't need two Captain Farons in this metagame. This, you know, especially like to start with here, all these games are going really fast. Maybe we don't need two Captain Farons, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's you know that's all kind of things to be thinking about you know maybe we just need more one and two mana cards um in general but uh i, I have to say there are some there siver and the blanc both did some really cool stuff and i think that assessor and reckoning both looked good as well and there's just so many five plus power allies that i, I like these two and siphoning siphoning strikes just been awesome that card's been awesome so um but Probably too many fours and fives and eights and stuff for this this metagame. Those are all things to be thinking about while uh, building this deck. And uh, you know, I want to just you know keep playing some like this is one that I want to keep playing some more games and getting some more data and just you know kind of seeing how it plays moving forward. This is it's a uh, you know to be determined how uh, how good this this kind of combination it can be and these champions can be but that's what it is this is the very first day of the expansion we're gonna have that right like we're not gonna have all the answers right now immediately but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep uh keep playing keep learning keep discovering and um keep having fun because that's what it's all about all right but that's it here for Siver leblanc those y'all watching later on youtube feel free to leave those comments anything you got any suggestions uh for the deck you got um if you've been if you play it at all um, you know, anything that you can take away, uh, you know, I'd love to see those comments. Also, what else do you want to see? Um, what other kind of champion combinations do y'all want to see coming up? We're going to keep playing all these new champions, you know, like all week and everything. There's, you know, nine new champions and tons of existing champions to put them with. We got lots of combinations to try out. But yeah, let me know uh, in the comments which ones y'all want to see. All right, but that's it here for Siver LeBlanc. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.